Thank you. Thank you. Greetings fellow travelers and uh, fellow viewers. If it's your first time, welcome to the channel. T5 the Traveler here with Becky the Trekkie and we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh, we've got a beautiful day here. We're at Dollywood. We're gonna take you on a walking tour of the park, show you everything that there is to see from the food, uh, where the shows are, what the rides look like, and uh, what we think of the park. So, okay, so we're just into Show Street, which is the very front part of the park. They've got the Spotlight Bakery over here to the left. If you wanna get a lemonade, you can. The first rest rooms are over here to the right if you need those they've got all kinds of different types of shopping they've got a sweet shop over here with a candy kitchen if you're looking for a place to sit uh, in in the shade this is a nice spot they've got this beautiful uh, overhead uh, decorations here and they have some live music that they play uh, throughout the day here we're still early into spring and this is the International Music Festival time uh, Dollywood does different well I think it is I mean the I will always love you I Will Always Love You Music Festival. Okay, so it's the I Will Always Love You Music Festival with their international cast. They have performers that come from uh, all over the world uh, that do different types of music here during this uh, time of year. And then it goes to the In Balloon, is that what it's called? Uh, where they have the flowers. Spring Festival. Spring Festival. Perfect, thank you. So Spring Festival will be next. And I think they run that for like three months. Okay, so off to the left, you have the Sweet Shop Kitchen over there. If you're looking for uh, the Show Street popcorn, you can get a large bucket there for $11.99. They've got a festival shop over here to the right. The Front Porch Cafe is off to the left. They have homemade eats. They've got house specialty like fried green tomatoes and southern uh, style dishes over there. Uh, they have lots of places to eat and they always have music playing throughout yes. the park, different types of music. So over to the right is going to be the festival shop. So you can get a t-shirt. Becky actually fit the uh, kids extra large. What was that, like $13.99, something like that? It wasn't too bad. I think it was $16.99. Okay, 16 with tax. I think it was like $13.99 and uh, had the gold pass. So you get 15% off with that. So the apparel is not bad. So down here over to the right is going to be your first theater. That's going to be Red's Drive-In. Over there, I think we'll just push on up and see what that looks like. They've got a traditions, gifts, and apparel over here to the left. So if you're looking for more t-shirts uh, and kids stuff over here, I'm seeing a lot of pink and Easter colors. We're just ahead of Easter. They've got that nice store right there. Uh, we'll come over here and we'll meet you uh, up here. Flower and food festival. Okay, we're coming into Jukebox Junction next. They, it's more of like a 50s theme. They've got the Pines Theater over here to the left. They've got a whole group of very serious looking gentlemen right there. <laughs> I'm assuming that they are in the show. Uh, they've got a, the High Octane store over here. And Red's Drive-In is going to be up next, up ahead of us. So Red's Drive-In, that's going to have the chili fries if you're looking for burgers and fries. Uh, they've got some indoor, outdoor seating. If you're looking for the Coca-Cola, they've got the machines over here uh, to the left. They've got a Dippin' Dots and an old-style Airstream camper. You don't see these campers very often. And uh, we'll just flip it around so you can see. Uh, Dippin' Dots campers, that's awesome right there. They've got the supermarket there behind it. And then Lightning Rod, if you're looking for a RMC coaster, uh, it's an intense one. It, it flips you every which way possible, so be prepared for that. Uh, that's going to be right there. They've got some great outdoor theming uh, for photos you can do right there. And then the ro Rockin' Roadway is right here uh, next. It doesn't look like the line's too bad right now. They've got these really cool 50 style uh, cars, so it's kind of like the, the antique car ride, but it, but 1950 style, so you can get in, you know, like a, a Chevrolet or an old Impala or any of those uh, types of cars. And they do have some uh, antique cars out here, uh, right there that you can take uh, photos with. Okay, so we're gonna push up and that'll bring us into which section, back into the next section? Uh, this is gonna be Rivertown Junction, that way. All right, Rivertown Junction is up next and I wouldn't call it a river, but they do have a creek. Uh, that you cross right through here and then you're kind of like into Rivertown. So uh, up next in Rivertown, off to the left, they're gonna have a lemonade stand. And then off to the right is where you're gonna get that boat ride uh, rampage, the Smoky Mountain Rampage. So that's the uh, white water style. They put you in the round boats and 
they shoot the water all over you. We'll see if we can get a few. It doesn't look too crowded right now. I'm seeing an empty ship. Uh, oh no, one person. One person, solo rider. <laughs> solo rider on the Rocky Mountain. And really, I feel like it's like 70 it degrees looks like right a now. One. We're in our shorts and t shirts. We're just one day ahead of Easter. Uh, as of doing this video, I'll try to get this posted fast. Uh, I know sometimes it takes forever. Look at the duck. He's like fighting with the. Wow, so they do have some wildlife here. All right, so we'll get into the next section and we'll show you what's over there. Okay, so if you turn immediately left, you can get to the suspension bridge. It's kind of like a little hidden cut through over here, just coming from where we were, and that's where you'll see the giant koi. We'll see if you can see them down there, but they are big, big, big. They look like they're like three feet. So I'm gonna do this. They think they're being fed. See, so like, see, look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got pasta. Okay, so coming out of the suspension bridge, and then that brings you straight down into uh, Rivertown. So up next is going to be the Mountain Home Quality Goods. So if you're looking for more t-shirts and things like that, it's going to be over here to the left. They have a replica of uh, the Tennessee Mountain Home that belonged to Dolly. You want to run through there real quick? Sure. All right, this is a replica of Dolly's Tennessee Wood Home. I think they had like a family of 11. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong there on that number. I'm just trying to remember. I read it one time from a, from a guest, but uh, maybe there was 11 kids in the house. It was something like that, and they all lived in here. Uh, they may tell us when we come in, so we'll we'll uh, we'll poke in real fast and just see what that looks like. Okay. Okay, in we go. Let's take a look. They've got some music playing, so we might have to clip it a little bit here and there. That's the family table for 11 people or 12 people. I have no idea. Oh Maybe. my goodness. Look at the size of the chairs. Oh wow. It's like a child size. And the bedroom over there. And that was it. Okay, that was really tiny for uh, that many people. Crazy. Okay, let's uh, carry on. Okay, coming up the hill from River Town, we're gonna head right into Country Fair. Uh, just behind us is the Back Porch Theater, uh, the Parton Theater, so they'd have like sing along with Dolly songs there with live performers if you wanna do that. We'll head up the hill, so to get to this section, you have to cross the railroad track, so a lot of times the train is here, so you'll get bottlenecked up in this section right there. Yeah. And then once we get up over the train tracks to the hill, we'll show you where the train station is. And then some of the flat rides, most of the flat rides really, and a lot of the kids' flat rides are in this area over here, so we'll, we'll show you those. Okay. okay, so the Dollywood Express next train leaves at 10 till 11. They always tell you right there. There is the Dollywood Express over there steaming up. And that's the number 192 train. And we can poke over just to get a quick peek. Hopefully it's not going to blow full steam right here. Very nice. Got the old-fashioned water tower. Okay, so they're, they're like filling it. It's, it's a legit steam train. That's awesome. There's the old style water tower. Very cool. All right, so off to the right, once you get up to the hill, it's gonna be the Iron Horse Pizza. And up ahead of us is the train depot, the village carousel, and the, and the uh, park theater. That's the Iron Horse. They've got like flatbread pizzas, like salads we saw people coming out with. Uh, they do have like a small single pepperoni or something like that. And then the off to the left is the entrance to the train station. The carousel is going to be straight ahead of us. That's the train depot right over there. But the sun's probably pretty bright. Uh, Temple. Uh, Mercantile exchange that's established since 1880 is what the sign says. Uh, that's where you'll get some of the themed uh, items for this area. They've got candy, drinks, train souvenirs, cowboy hats, stuff like that in there. Uh, that's a nice little store. Off to the right is the uh, carousel. We took a spin on it. It was uh, it's a fun ride. So that video uh, will be out uh, on the channel as well. Over here is the Heart Song Theater, so you can catch some of those shows up there on the top of that corner. And then we're gonna walk down here past the carousel uh, to the next session, section, and we'll show you where all the flat rides are. Yeah. Okay, just past Mercantiles and the pizza place, heading down the hill, it brings you into the Country Fair 
area. So this is gonna be your old style, carnival style uh, games. You've got the knock the knock the frog. You can uh, race the horses over here. You can knock the balls down uh, or knock the pins down with the ball. You got like uh, one shot for three pins. It's like you gotta hit it just like abs absolutely perfectly. They got the balloon pop over here. We're seeing Plinko. I see a little bit of basketball. It's still really early in the day. We're just starting the day. We went on that uh, dragon flyer. Uh, we'll show you where that is later. So you want to definitely get on that uh, at some point. And uh, this brings you right into the county fair. So this is going to be a little bit more of a younger area. And they'll have like uh, different different games open later at night. It really comes alive uh, later into the day. Uh, this is the Shooting Stars uh, drop tower. That's like the kitty drop tower. They do have a uh, flat ride over here that we would go on. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of this one, Becky? Let me see if I can see the name on that. All right. I can't. Skyrider. Oh, the Skyrider. Yeah, it's uh, it, it actually gets up there pretty high. It looks like, oh my, the Scrambler is up. It is. The Scrambler oh, is up. They, so excited. they were painting the Scrambler yesterday. They had this like all dismantled. Everything was dismantled. So oh their maintenance crew somehow got the Scrambler up. Nice. Uh, right there. So we'll do a Scrambler video. Uh, out there that'll be a separate one so that's where the scrambler is if you want to do that we'll pop up real quick and show you the demolition derby and then the waltzing's uh, swinger is up there at the top of the hill so if you want to get on the waltzing swinger ride that is going to be up at the top and then demolition derby i think the best way to show you what the cars look like is just kind of poke up real quick towards the exit and then we'll be able to see into the cars so it's one way track you're supposed to kind of go around here in a circle and what we find is you have a lot of young drivers and then it kind of kind of bottlenecks usually over in this far corner but uh oh and that's all she wrote okay so just coming off the demolition derby very short ride right there uh, is the uh, Happy Valley Farmland area. Okay, so this is uh, Lucky Duckies over here. You got Busy Bees and you've got Piggy Parade uh, off to the left. So if you're looking for those smaller junior rides, those are gonna be right back there in that section uh, just past the Derby. So we're gonna push up uh, back out and we'll show you the other sections of the park. Okay, continuing country fair in this section, Blue Ribbon Cones is gonna be right there. That's the Sky Rider over there. And then you've got three more, uh, two more flats over here. Lemon Twist is, that's gonna be like the teacup ride. And then if you wanna ride the flying elephants, the amazing flying elephants are right here uh, at the corner. We got some tunes, so we'll have to carry on. All right, just coming out of country fair, you gotta go back up to the top of the hill past the train depot and that's the dollywood express and then you got to cross the tracks to get to the next section of the park so we'll see you when we get over there okay so when you come out of country fair you want to stick to the right past the tracks and that will bring you up over to the top we're going to head up to owens farm next and this brings you into rivertown uh, junction if you're looking for that hot fresh cinnamon bread at the grist mill it is right here up ahead of it you can get it to it from one of two ways that path that we took or you can come straight from the front of the park and then you can walk right down here uh to the to the right it's just right straight up through the middle you can't miss it and that brings you right down here to the valley theater and uh off the, so they have some vintage shows so you're looking for like a more of a authentic uh river town cowboy uh type of setting uh, that's going to be more of the theming uh, in this area uh, lumberjacks yeah. and things like that all over the place so that's the valley theater over there they've got a stage up there on the right looks like they're getting ready to set up uh, they have a leather and hat company up ahead of us so if you're looking for leather goods you can get them up there off to the left is the grist mill that's where you can get that homemade cinnamon bread and they looks like they have a, a swag shop over there as well so if you want to get a shirt or something uh, to that nature you can over here is granny ogley's uh ham and beans country uh cooking at its best they've got some outdoor seating uh indoor outdoor seating it's out of the sun but you you've got open air right there uh so that's not quite open available it says that the grist mill cinnamon bread is over to the left so they got plenty of signs pointing you in the way to that cinnamon bread if you're looking for that uh they have some beautiful uh waterworks going up here they've got the the water slurry that's taking the water down there to the to the mill and they use the that water to uh 
worked it's it's actually uh, pretty old-fashioned and still still functions so that's awesome uh, over here if you're looking for those caricatures you can get that uh, at the art supply our art shops is over there they have pork rinds over here to the right so if you want to get some homemade pork rinds uh, we'll just pop up and look at the price I think it's like $8.99 or something like that specialty foods they've got some popcorn there in those Dollywood buckets and that's gonna be right over there the bear market is across the street they have some other shopping across the street it looks like the Christmas store so if you're looking for Christmas it's gonna be right there at that section they've got the general store and post office off to the left and then this is gonna be uh, more of the handmade crafts so the blacksmiths will be working back here we'll just poke in real quick so if you're looking for something forged they have the old-fashioned uh, forges going over here it looks like they're getting ready to do uh, a couple of cuts uh, and they've got the, what I would say an apprentice and a, and a more uh, senior uh, smith working together uh, right there so if you want to see some uh, blacksmithing in person they do have it uh, right there from time to time okay so if you're looking for the chapel the Robert s the Robert F Thomas Chapel is just up ahead it says Sunday service at 11:30 a.m. Uh, I don't know if the chapels open for Easter tomorrow so Easter Sunday is tomorrow um, if I'm not sure I thought the park was closed but maybe they'll have it open so we're not gonna go all the way in we'll just poke on up and we won't uh, cross the door here but we'll just show you what the chapel looks like and it's right there it smells very very holy all right we'll carry on we're gonna head up uh, to the next section all right so just past the chapel you can come up here and this is eagle mountain so this is like an eagle sanctuary they they are non-release eagles so they don't release them they just kind of live here and it's got uh several of them we'll see if you can see a few up there at the very tippy top they're sitting on a perch up there and then there's several of them clustered together up at the top of the top of the hill there so i mean they've got plenty of room to expand this if they wanted to oh for sure so there's a there's a beautiful hill here and uh it's kind of like a rescue place so that they are available to see if you'd like and then they have a, another indoor enclosure uh up here where you can kind of see some of the birds of the area uh they bring them out from different times of the day to put them on display for short periods of time across from that eagle sanctuary is the hickory house barbecue they've got the the big bear feast for 1899 it gets the uh smoked beef their signature pulled pork memphis style barbecue sauce and white cheddar cheese sauce on that one the others are in that 12 13 14 15 dollar range and they're available right there if you're looking for some southern style barbecue off to the left is the lucky mine so if you want to look for fossils emeralds and stuff like that uh you can over here is another theater it's the wings of america theater so they have some birds uh, that are native to the Americas in the show. And they've got a few on display over here. Sometimes they have a bald eagle. Uh, other times we've seen some uh, black vultures, turkey, turkey vultures, and uh, things like that. Let's just pop up and see. I, I see some vultures out. I don't know if the eagle's out. Nope. Okay, turkey vulture. And a black vulture back in. Okay, just coming back down from Eagle Mountain, you want to walk up to the left, to the right, right here, and then that's going to bring you up to Daredevil Falls uh, log flume. So we're going to try to get on this uh, a little bit later in the day. We'll have to change clothes and all that good stuff, and then we'll get on there. But we'll walk up here and show you what the falls look like. It looks like it's a. Is it like a racing dueling uh, log flume, or they rotate sides? and uh let's see what it see what it looks like it's got some nice landscaping it's just right built into the side of the uh the smoky mountains here and here comes a here comes one now oh it's right in the middle yeah i gotcha we might get wet awesome ah, looks like a fun one we'll get on that one 
Okay, just walking down from Daredevil Falls through Craftsman's Alley. Then Valley. You, Valley, then it brings you right up here to Owen's Farm, and that's up on the top of the hill. And we'll see what uh, animals they have. This is the Christmas store right here. Uh, we showed you that across the street. If you want to see this whole area, you kind of just got to walk a little loop and then up this hill uh, to get up to the farm. So we'll show you what that looks like. And then there's three or four other sections of the park that we'll show you, so stick with us. When you get to the top of the hill, they've got Barnstormer. It's that giant barn swing there. It kind of has the frontwards and backwards swing action. And it, it doesn't go all the way inverted. It's more like a, uh, you know, so your, your nose is just kind of touching down a little bit, face but down. face down a little bit. And there's more restrooms up here. These look very private. This is kind of a nice a uh, quiet area if you're looking for something to, to go to the restroom or something like that. And then Owens Farm is gonna be right up here, uh, up this hill. What is it? Okay, so this looks like where they do bring the animals out, but they don't have any animals out here right now. Uh, maybe it's for selected hours, or it's just a children's play area. I'm I, not sure if they I, have I assumed farm meant they had animals, but right. I could be wrong. Well, anyway, it's up here at the top. It looks like a quiet place for the kids to play. If you want to get out of the way and go on the big uh, barn swing, barnstormer, it is right there. Okay. Okay, continuing on with the tour, just past the Wings of America show back up the hill here. Uh, there's a restroom off to the right. This is Wilderness Pass and then Blazing Fury. That's the indoor dark ride, the Silver Mining Company. We did film that uh, the other day, so we'll have uh, that on the channel if you want to see that full ride. That's an indoor dark one there. That's a fun little one. Uh, it has three drops. Uh, we didn't know if it was going to have any drops when we were riding it, but it turned out to be uh, really good. So uh, you're going to have some mine uh, style uh, rides up here, and then uh, we'll come up to what's the next section? Uh, Going to be Wilderness Pass. Wilderness Pass, right up here at the top of the hill. Okay, coming up to the top of the hill is going to be the Tennessee Tornado. This one was from 1999. It's got uh, several inversions, and it's been down the last couple of days. Uh, we'll see if we can get on it today. Maybe uh, they might be testing it. We we might have seen a test run, so hopefully we can get on the. Uh, it still says the ride is temporarily closed there, Tennessee Tornado. Uh, this is the uh, tour game, so if you want to pop the balloon, you can over there. And then they've got the ring toss over here to the left. Uh, you can get you a giant avocado or a giant pineapple. Wow. We have uh, noticed that they have squid hats. Uh, that's a popular one. Yeah. Here's the arcade. It's just right up here. We'll pop in real quick. You've got the cro cosmic crane right there. You've got the giga uh, claw machine. You can get Slimer if you're into Ghostbusters. They've got that right there. Uh, Spider-Man, I'm seeing adventurer, adventurers and, and things like that over there. A couple of racing bikes and some basketball. Okay, ski balls over here in the corner and then we're gonna push right back out uh, of the arcade and into the rest of the park. General Store, Main Street General Store. Okay, so that one, we'll see if we can get on the Tennessee Tornado. Maybe, maybe. It says it's temporarily closed, but they are standing out in front of it today. So yeah. that means that they it's might to be though. able to get on it. So we'll hopefully we can do that. They've got some basketball out here, dipping Dots, and then there's more squirt gun games. Uh, up ahead of us is going to be the Fire Chaser Express. But before we head up there and show you that ride, this is the food truck area. So if you're looking for the food trucks, a lot of times the line gets long later in the day. So early yeah. in the day, uh, looks like it's Definitely not too bad shorter. right now. You can walk through there. Uh, looks like they've got some pretzels and uh, what a, have you seen the other items in the food truck? Uh, okay, so I'm seeing a spring bowl, Mediterranean bowl, chicken or steak, uh, gyro. They've got German bratwurst over here. They've got busting concessions over here to the right. Don't know what the menu is there. Uh, this one is the Sugar Queen. They've got homemade uh, pretzels. They've got pr more pretzels. I'm seeing a car caramel iced coffee. And uh, anything else on that menu? Cinnamon? Okay, so just past the food trucks that we did talk to the, uh, two of the employees there. So the Tennessee Tornado is not going to be running this trip. We might uh, be back in the fall, so we'll try to get on it then uh, for the uh, harvest uh, celebration or harvest festival. Okay, uh, up next is going to be the Fire Chaser Express. We did ride this one yesterday. It's got uh, two launches, one forwards, one back, and an indoor uh, fire element, uh, kind of like you're in a in a fire in a building, and then they they get you rescued out in the nick of time. And it's a it's a really nicely themed, uh, fun family coaster. 
Lancer. It's got the red uh, train engine and it looks like it's like an old old fashioned train and it, it really moves pretty good on the on the launches. All right, up to the left hand side, that is going to be the Wild Eagle. They put the uh, wing coaster up at the top of the highest hill and then it'll, it'll go up there and it's over a hundred foot drop. We rode that. So that one will be on the channel if you want to check one, check that out. You can, the Eagles Flight Outfitters is right over here to the left. So if you're looking for something Flying Eagle uh, related swag, you can get it over here. Fire Chaser, like we said, over to the right. And then the big Dollywood Eagle. So if you're looking for a good photo opportunity is over here on the left. The sun's kind of behind the Eagle right now, but later in the day, uh, is a better time to get that uh, wild eagle photo, but that is right there. Uh, off to the pass, they have Wilderness Pass. Uh, Skyview Snacks is gonna be just across the way uh, over here, and then the entrance to the wild eagle is just right there uh, to the left. There goes the, the fire chaser right there. All right, we'll carry on. Okay, so the Firehouse Fun Yard is right here. So if you got the kiddos and you want to drop them in a little indoor uh, play area, we'll give them their privacy. But they got the fire engine and uh, several obstacles to climb on in right there. They've got some outside seating right here in the shade. It's really nice. And that kind of pushes you up into the next uh, section. And over to the left here, looks like is the Hansville Wax Company. So if you want to get uh, wax molds, of like your kids hands as they grow up you can do that uh, right there they've got a, a fireman uh, salute station there up here is the sign you can see like the wait times for the different rides that'll pop up from time to time we have noticed that the show times don't necessarily pop up on that but that's yeah. okay uh, over here to the left is sprinklers uh, trail side snacks it looks like they've got coffee uh, and funnel cakes and things like that right there the dog house is up next. This was closed when we first got in the park. It's open now and they always seem to have a line. You can get uh, sides and snacks. It looks like the uh, mac and cheese is $6.99. You've got uh, canyon chips are $2.59, not bad. Puppy dog $4.99 and a 16 ounce beverage is $3.59. So that seems to be some of the better priced options uh, in the park. They're working on a new section, like an interactive dolly section in this section right here. And then it's just got kind of like a long walk down and that'll bring us into the, what's the next section that we come down um, to. It's gonna be Wildwood Grove. Wildwood Grove. Okay, so we'll get down through this area. It's kind of just like a quiet area. And uh, when we get to the bottom of the hill, we'll be in Wildwood Grove. We'll show you Big Bear Mountain and a few of the other rides. All right, just coming down the hill through Wilderness Pass brings us into Wildwood Cove. Grove. Wildwood Grove and that's where you're gonna find the mystery mine ride so it looks like they've got a little bit of a line this is one of the better coasters they've got two vertical lift hills and they take you all the way up to the top of this thing it's got some really nice indoor dark elements and it's a great coaster so that one is right there and we're gonna push up the hill and we'll show you where you can get to Wildwood Cove and Wildwood Grove boy I have a hard time with that one Wildwood Grove and that's where the Big Bear Mountain and the Dragonflyer is. So, and some other flat rides. We'll come on up top to the hill. Up to the top of the hill is the Till Harvest Food Hall. Uh, they've got uh, Smoky Mountain Mexican, and it looks like cheeseburgers, chicken tenders, and a black bean uh, taco stuffed sweet potato. Okay, that's interesting. interesting. So, so that's going to be right up there, and that brings you right into Wildwood Grove. They have the tree, what is it, the treetop? It's like the little apple ride. It takes you up there and spins you kind of like the balloon ride, uh, if you have that. They've got sweet and treats over here uh, to the right. That's where you can get uh, your fill-ups for your Coca-Cola. They've got nacho, cheese chips, uh, cheese dip, and they've got uh, top dog, hot dogs. Looks like $12.99. Uh, for the hot dog, $6.99 for the chips. And that's the treetop tower is what that one was. The treetop tower for the Apple uh, ride. They have a like a Viking style, pirate style swing ship uh, here, but it is plant themed for the uh, for the garden theme here. Right. And what great tree the great swing. tree swing and the great tree swing is uh, right there. It's got the traditional swing ship and over here to the right that's going to be the big bear mountain that's going to be the longest coaster that they have uh, at the park this is a more busy area of the park it's really kind of up in its own section up to the back left and so if you want to get to this section first you just want to head uh, left through that wilderness trail area and it'll take you right up to the top of the hill and then you're right there 
Okay, just hugging Big Bear Mountain. There goes the coaster right there. Is the Black Bear Trail. So this is kind of like a bouncy uh, Black Bear ride. You, the kids can get up there. You see some adults from time to time. I thought it had a height limit, but it looks like a lot of the adults just wait that line and they go ahead and get. I mean, it does look like it does look like a lot of fun uh, to me. And then that's going to bring you down into Mountain Grove and the merchants are down in here. They have this uh, kids play area with the splash park zone, kind of like the water comes up out of the ground and so, sort of thing. They have some of those interactive uh, musical rides that are there. You can like play the drums and the different types of kettlebells and uh, uh, what do they call them? The Jamaican style steel drums. Yeah, that sort of thing is there. Yeah, all that good stuff. And then Mountain Grove Merchants is over here. If you want a picture with the stuffed bear, you can get it right there. And then the interactive characters, so like the meet and greet for the characters, they'll have the bear over here uh, to the left, some of the pixies and uh, things like that. This is Frogs and Fireflies. It's a little kid uh, frog ride. It kind of races you up and down and you're in those uh, jumping frogs. We'll give those families their privacy, but we'll walk over here and just see what the, the fairy looks like real fast. This is the characters meet and greet. They have them at different times, 11 o'clock, 12, 15, 2, 30, and 3, 45. So if you wanna get a picture uh, with the kids, they're right over there. Just gotta get in line, and then you can get up to those characters and uh, get you a photo. I wouldn't mind getting a photo with the bear. Maybe we'll uh, we'll do that if we, if we can. All right, so over to the right is going to be face painting. Uh, if you want to get the face painted, uh, this is the station. It's looking like it's very popular uh, over here. And up to the left, they have another dip in dots. And then they have the mad blackbird, which, which, which kind of bird? I know it's a mad bird. Uh, over here to the left, it just takes the kids up and mockingbird. the mockingbird, the mad mockingbird, and uh, that's gonna swing them around. And then you just move that central rudder uh, left to right, and that's how you tip it. This is a safety information and restrooms area. So if you need uh, to find lost people, that's a good spot right there. They've got restrooms right over here. If you're looking for a locker, you can get it over here. This green one off to the left is a suspended coaster, uh, inverted, you know, and it doesn't go upside down or anything like that, it, but it's got some really good twists and turns. The line is always like about 50 minutes for this, so you want to get on this first thing or late in the day. That one is called the Dragon Flyer. We did do a ride on that, uh, so definitely check that out. We had a great time uh, on that ride. It was surprisingly good, so uh, that's a good, uh, good coaster, family coaster to do. And they really knock it out of the park with the family coasters because the last one up here at the very tippy top of the hill is gonna be Big Bear Mountain. This is the one that won the best family coaster ride uh, golden ticket award in 2023. So that is right up here. Uh, we rode it at right at dusk last night and the temperature was really dropping and it moves you through the hills and everything. So we got some, uh, we, had a, we had a great ride. It's a long, really. Yeah. When you think it's over, it's not. So there's the wait times. Big Bear's got like 45 minutes right now. And the show times did, they did pop the show times up there. Perfect, nice job. So they're, they've got it together today. Uh, they got the scrambler back going. They're testing the Hoosier yes. Hurricane. We're not gonna get to ride that one this trip, but uh, maybe next time. All right, just coming down the hill from Wildwood Grove. It's bringing us into Timber Canyon. And you can hear that Mystery Mine uh, music behind us. The Mystery Mine is all of this ride just over here, uh, back behind us. That's a great one you want to get on. It's a little bit intense, but it's definitely a memorable uh, yeah. one. So that, it, yeah, it's 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 kind of one of a kind. Uh, had a great great ride on it. They've got some other apparel and goods out here. Uh, looks like wired up rings, necklaces, and bracelets off to the right. You can get some t-shirts and Mystery Mine apparel off to the left uh, right over here. They have the uh, climbing log ride. Uh, you kind of pull yourself up. I think it's called Lumberjack Lifts. That's uh, You can do the adult kid combo. I think anybody can ride it. I don't think it has any uh, age restrictions, but you get in the seat and it kind of lifts you up that tower uh, right there. And then that's going to bring you in. Speaking of towers, that brings you into their drop tower. It's called Drop Line, and it's a really great ride. It's nicely themed. The drop line is uh, a line for lumberjacking that's off of a skyline where they lower logs down the uh, down the side of the mountain. And that's going to be up over there. It's got an electromagnetic braking system. So we tried to film that one uh, yesterday, and it made the memory card file unreadable. So uh, that for uh, food for thought for future, there's 
those magnets are very powerful uh, braking system so that's what that one has uh, lumberjack pizza which is really popular late in the day is off to the left so if you're looking for a uh, slice of pizza you can get it in this area this area is beautifully themed uh, with with the, all of the wood elements you've got like this buzz saw up here it doesn't move forward or anything but it does simulate how that the lumber mills uh, would have worked they've got the old steam engines they've got water elements over here we'll bop over to the left so we don't get too wet oh there it is Woo! that will cool you off the the wind is blowing it all the way over here so this whole pass uh, <laughs> that actually felt pretty good all right so uh, we've got another coaster up here ahead of us this one is whistle punk chaser that is a whistle punk is kind of like the person that blows the whistle to let them know uh, to turn the steam on so you'll see a steam and willie's whistles steam engine down there and it's kind of like a kitty coaster it just kind of goes around uh, a few laps so we didn't get a ride in on it oh there it goes right there it's got those little uh little uh mine mine cars so that's really a good uh starter coaster for like the family uh, yeah. but it's a two-seater so keep that keep that in mind uh this is going to bring us down to the last section and then we'll be up towards the uh front of the park we'll let you know what we think of the park in total but without any further ado the entrance to thunderhead is right here this is the thunderhead coaster and becky usually isn't big on uh wooden Wooded roller coasters, coasters. I but don't know. This what'd you one think? I think is going to rain um, towards the top of my list for wooden coasters, if not, yeah, the top three. So I think uh, why it's so popular is because it was, uh, it's a newer wooden coaster. It's not one of the really old ones that's been here for like the 30s or the 40s or something like that. Yeah. They rebuilt it, but it's right there if you're looking for a wooden coaster ride. And then that's going to bring you down uh, this trail. It kind of cuts through the, the hills and the landscape down in the woods. And we'll get, we'll see you when we get at the bottom and carry on for that. All right, making your way down that hill from Tinburg Canyon, it brings you back uh, to the show place. And there's two theaters. There's the Back Porch Theater and the Celebrity Theater. So we'll show you uh, where those are at. It brings you right back down. So if you're looking to pick up your uh, bus parking, you can do it over here. The front entrance is right over here and the ticketing area is up there. If you're looking for a park map, you can pick it up. As soon as you get into the right, it's just right off to the right. Uh, they've got them out there when the park is open. They take them down when the park is closed, we've noticed. And then through the exit, if you didn't, if you're looking for a t-shirt or something last minute, you can get it through the Emporium uh, right down here. Right here by the very front uh, Dollywood I Will Always Love You Music Festival sign is the Show Street Palace Theater. Looks like the doors are open. You can go right up here and uh, one of Dolly's most beloved albums uh, comes to life here. So if you're looking for a Dolly uh, show, you can get it uh, right up here. They've got the bakery right across uh, the left, and then we'll take you up and show you where the Back Porch Theater is, and then let you know what we think of the park. Up next is going to be Market Square, where you can get a potato tornado or a twisted dog. They've got Appalachian fried potato chips, and I will love you always punch. That's going to be right under this little outdoor area, and they're cooking those potatoes up right over there. They've got this giant skillet that they do. It looks like they've got corn and uh, other items uh, available right there. You can get your drinks and that sort of thing. If you're looking for kettle corn, it's going to be right here to the left. And last but not least is going to be Aunt Granny's Restaurant. This is the all-you-can-eat buffet that is here at Dollywood. We hear it's the absolute best place to eat uh, here in Dollywood, so we always like to show you where the best food is. It's uh, right up here in the, past the marketplace, and it's not down there by Jukebox Junction, but it's over here more into the middle, and it's this building right here. Later in the day, this gets a really long line uh, right out the gates. So. All right, so that's going to bring us all the way full circle. We showed you absolutely everything. Granny's Buffet Restaurant's right here, uh, just behind us. The Backdoor Theater is right across from it over here. That's that outdoor theater. Butterfly Strings and Music Store is right here. And uh, that's pretty much the whole park. So what was your favorite ride here at uh, Dollywood 2024? Uh, Got to be one of the roller coasters. I'm going to go with Mystery Mind just because of how unique it is and those two just straight vertical uh, lips are just something else. I agree. <laughs> I'm going to say Mystery Mind was the most memorable. Yeah. Uh, Big Bear Mountain was actually a really nice ride. Good. It's got a nice long push. The, the acceleration's good. 
fire chaser was good with the forwards backwards it's like a little bit shorter one the wild eagle is great don't be afraid to get on that wing coaster at the top of the hill it and really soars through as well for a wooden coaster thunderhead's yeah. a great wooden coaster so they've got a really good top six lineup i would say uh the rmc lightning rod is great i think everybody's expectations are just a little bit skewed because they took the launch out and it was the only launched uh wood coaster for a while yeah. it's got a fast launch hill we rode it we had a great time on it it just depends on if you're comparing it to regular roller coasters or you're comparing it to other rmc roller coasters enthusiasts will know what i'm talking about out there uh all in all we've had a great trip here yeah. uh dollywood we've had great weather for it uh if the prices haven't been bad they have a lot of food options if you want to get stuffed you can do the buffet and stuff like that uh if you want to walk around we did see turkey on a stick or some good barbecue we've thought about a few different uh food options while we were here the flat rides are great uh we're going to go ahead after we do this video we'll get on those two water rides so the a white water rafted ride and uh the log flume uh the daredevil falls log flume that should be a great one and uh, we've enjoyed it so thanks yeah. for uh joining us for the tour here if you stuck with this this long we appreciate it leave us a like if you like us uh don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel we uh, always like to see those new subscribers go up and uh we know we can reach everybody uh easy that way we like comments and all that good stuff too uh big thank you to all our loyal subscribers fellow travelers out there and we will see you all very soon on the next video bye everybody